right, what do we have today? You Gotta Want It by Jake Paul. Bad title's a lie. I didn't fucking want this. The reviews on Amazon, they swayed me a little bit. I was browsing, buying some new stuff for my room. You know, my room's changed up a little bit. And I saw this Jake Paul book with nearly five fucking stars. The reviews are endless. Five stars. Kids are loving it. Everyone loves this book. And I was like, what is all the fuss about? The majority of the five stars say it's a very inspirational read about Jake Paul. So I did decide to spend hours of my day today reading this book. I went without eating for hours just to finish this book. I was starving by the end of it. This is definitely one of my greatest accomplishments. The fact I finished this book. It's over. Oh. Without further ado, let's dive in to the book. First the cover. Look at the beautiful cover. Our man Jake, just looking all <laughs> whatever he looks like. Check out the back of the book. Hot damn. Look at this bad boy. Juicy nipples on show. Just the little girls are gonna love this. They're gonna look at this every night before bed. Ah. Uh. So we open the page and we're greeted with a very long paragraph, which I don't give a fuck about, but I'll just read a little bit. And it's extremely positive, motivational, and often laugh out loud memoir if he does say so himself. Jake Paul pauses long enough from his supercharged day to day as a 19 year old social media heartthrob and co star on the Disney Channel series Bizarre Vark. The book is uh, a little bit old. Share his takes on life, love, fame, and shooting for the moon. That's my review done. The book shit. Bye. No, I didn't sit through this book for hours to just... No, I have some things. The first thing that really caught my eye was Jake Paul uh, kind of wrote a mini erotic novel within his book. Let me read you a segment from this uh, children's book. One Saturday night, we were at Crocker Park, me, my friends, and Julie. We all went back to my mum's house. Julie and I went into the room together and made out. Then after a while, her hands went places. Oh, what places, Jake? Tell me, you dirty boy. And so did mine. And suddenly, we were past making out in brand new territory, at least for me. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. And I was like, oh my God, this is the best moment ever. That moment is still pretty great all these years later. Put that one in the wank bank. He's been wanking over that memory for years. That's basically what he's saying, isn't it? That's not fucking creepy, is it? And then the biggest load of shit comes out of this book. Jake basically tells us how he was having multiple girlfriends at once and they all found out after he made love to the other girl. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. From then on, whenever I texted a girl, she replied hesitantly, People tell me you're a player. No, I texted back. Well, that's what people say. You're a player. Who are you going to believe, them or me? Them. As I saw it then, I only had one option, to laugh it off and reply honestly. I cannot lie, I did have an issue, but I've changed, I've grown up, I'm more mature, and I really like you. So do you want to get together? <laughs> Never mind what the girl responded. Yeah, I'm sure if she said, yes, Jake Paul, please put it in me now, that would have been in the book, but she clearly didn't. But this is my favorite part. I want to ask you, the reader, a question. Does that sound like a player? That sounds like the biggest fuckboy I've ever heard. Are we supposed to say no to that? You've literally told us that you had three girls on a string, shagged one of them. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. They all found out and dumped you. And then when you're trying to get other girls, you tell them that you're not a player, don't believe other people's opinions. And as soon as you justify yourself, you write, so do you want to get together? Oh no, Jake, that doesn't sound like a player at all. Questioning the reader, he probably thought that was sick. It was very fucking shit. Ah, and then we're greeted by one of the many motivational quotes this book has. Girls who can be themselves, yes. Just yes. Well, all right, we might as well go through many of the other inspirational quotes Jake Paul's put in the book because in the reviews, the main gist was that everyone was inspired by this. Oh, this one's spicy. Turn up the volume on everything. I like this one. Grind. 
There's no other way. Is that what you say to all the girls in the club, is it, Jake? This one's actually pretty deep. I give Jake this one. Some days, your underwear sticks in your butt crack. Pick it out, laugh it off, and get going again. Poetry. This imagery of underwear being stuck in his butt crack just oh, it gets me off. And this one just doesn't make any fucking sense. Stop reading for a minute, and like me, more important, like yourself. Was the ghostwriter for his book a fucking five-year-old? What does that mean? I am so hungry for today. Who wants to join me for a bite? But that concludes the uh, motivational part of Jake Paul's whatever the fuck this is. It is, um, for a lack of a better word, Yankee Danky dog shit. But we're just getting started. You guys are here because this book reveals things about Jake Paul that no one else knows and he doesn't put out there to the public. There's segments in this book called Five Things I Know About Jake Paul That You Don't where he gets different people, different celebrities, e-celebs to tell people things that they wouldn't know about Jake Paul. This book's so old that even Alyssa Violet has a bit. So let's dive into that. That'll be the most juicy, right? Surely she has some things on Jake that we don't know. Turn to page 194. With number one thing that we don't know about Jake Paul is he always brushes his teeth. I'm not making this shit up. Look for yourself. That is the number one thing she could think of. He always brushes his teeth. I don't know if there's a stigma going around that Jake Paul doesn't brush his teeth. Thank you, Alyssa Violet, for that very insightful information. We all got excited for nothing, and the rest is pure dribble. He eats pretty healthy, but can go on binges where he powers down on donuts and pizza. Oh yeah, his workouts are insane. He runs a mile, literally runs it. Then does a hardcore workout with weights and resistant exercises. All right, Alyssa Violet, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you're shagging the guy. Oh, wait, I forget this book's old. We already know she was. And his brother. Oh, Mumsy and Daddy, Greg Paul. Let's get Greg Paul in on this. They have their own section too about Jake and the five things we won't know. Greg Paul, the main man himself. Number one, as a kid, his feet always smelled terribly. They were nasty. If Jake took his shoes off in the car, everyone would want to jump out the window. What the fuck? Ever liked to cut his toenails? Actually, he didn't want to cut them. I'd have to literally hold him down to cut his toenails. Alright, that's fucking disgusting. Surely the mum has some more, less gross information about Jake. God, Greg doesn't spare any details, does he? You ready to come again? Oh, Greg! Oh, fuck. Sorry. PTSD, alright? I've never gotten over seeing Greg Paul's dick and hearing them... words. Pam! Five things I know about Jake that you don't. Okie dokie, Pam. He cannot stand anyone touching his belly button. As a result, he'd let his belly button get dirty. At times, there was enough lint in there to knit a sweater. His dad would have to hold him down to clean it out. Jake would be screaming and crying. He hated it. The last time I saw him, I checked to see if it was clean. It was. Alright. No, I'm fucking done with that book. What the fuck was that? <laughs> yeah, it's just great. We got all the insight now on Jake. He's a dirty fucker who doesn't like to clean his belly button, cut his toenails, and has groggy feet. Ladies, line up. Jake Paul is grim. I mean, there's the whole picture section of Jake. Lovely stuff. Look at that. Look at all these lovely pictures. I don't give a fuck about your pictures, Jake, actually. But your pictures can fuck off out my book. I don't want to see any of your dirty toenails or your fucking grim belly button. Just get your... Yeah, much better. This will make good for a bonfire. All right? Fuck these shitty pictures. This video, it was a challenge. You know how Mr. Beast has challenges? I think reading Jake Paul's book is a challenge in itself. That is not all what's in my bag of surprises. Tune in next week to see what we have in here. Oh, I'll give you a little preview. Tune in next time where we take a look at the Jake Paul adult coloring book. Things get hot and heavy in this edition and I'm sure you won't want to miss it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you guys enjoyed and you know, I think I earned this one. Could you leave a like on this video for me having to go through that fucking pain and if you're new around here please do subscribe 
That would mean so much to me. I'm wearing my new merch t-shirts, which are dropping today. If you want to check them out, they're really comfy. I wear them all the time. I even wear them out. Um, people seem to really enjoy the design. It's very simple and something you can wear out. So uh, if you want to cop that, they're going to be cheap, not like my hoodies, which are a bit more expensive. So please do check that out. We're also releasing BEB -E Champion hoodies, which will go live within this week. So follow the Instagram, BEB.apparel. We are launching it. We're having a countdown and everything. So go and follow that. Also on my main Instagram, and this is completely irrelevant to me, really. Not really anyone knows this. I've been doing a thing where I've been playing viewers on FIFA, if you enjoy FIFA, posting it on my Instagram stories, finding people who can challenge and try and beat me. Winner, if you beat me, you get a £20 PSN card. I'm gonna do it every Friday, Friday FIFA on Instagram. If you wanna get involved in that, follow my Instagram, PSNSkillCav, for a chance to win. All you have to do to enter is message me on Instagram. When I post that I'm looking for people to play, and you can play me on FIFA. People who don't like FIFA, it's fine, don't have to get involved, but it's something fun that I've started doing on my Instagram, and I, re I wanna do more. And that is it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Sorry for the break. I've been setting everything up. This has taken me ages to make this whole new studio, I guess you can call it. And uh, I hope you can be patient with me. I've got some really good videos coming out soon. And yeah, thank you so much for the support. And until next time, fuck off.